Hey there, welcome to the Legend Sport channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate one method of editing the XML files for Out of the Park Baseball 23. This will allow you to customize your universe for fictional play. Now before I begin, I have a couple of caveats. First, this is only one method. Because these are basically text files, there are a lot of different ways of making edits. And second, I want to keep this relatively brief. So I'm going to demonstrate how to make edits and hopefully that'll give you the tools you can use to craft your own universes. I'm not going to uh, do everything, you know, soup to nuts and show you how, um, you know, how to do all the files and do something, you know, start to finish. Um, we're going to be looking at two areas, names and schools. So I won't be touching the world XML file. But editing that one works exactly the same way. So if you can do the names in the schools, you can definitely figure out how to do the world file as well. So let's get started. Okay, so the goal is to get from this and this to this. So how do we do that? So what we're going to do is we're, this, we're going to use Microsoft Excel and the concatenate function to take lists of names and distribution numbers and ethnicities for first names and last names. And I'll show you how to plug them into this kind of format and make a, make a line for each one that you can then actu actually just paste into this file. So that's how I would recommend doing it is make a backup of the original and then basically just replace text in the original. So, um, you can replace all the names, you can replace some of the names, um, you can add new names. The thing to keep in mind is all of these NID numbers here need to be unique. So um, make sure you keep that in mind. And you know, you have first names, so this is the first name group. And then down here, if we scroll down, uh, you see they start over, the numbers start over. Right, so this would be your last names. Now, I don't know why it starts at 16 and the first names start at 23 or whatever it is. Um, maybe they had other names that they actually removed. I don't think it really matters if all the numbers are in here from one to whatever, but all the numbers have to be unique. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna have a first name list and a last name list. And there's also a nickname list. And whether or not you wanna mess with that, you can, but that's down here at the very bottom so uh, keep going there uh, man this is really long I usually look at the alphabetical order here but they keep starting over so here are the here are the nicknames so there aren't as many nicknames um, but you can see these are all nicknames right so whether or not you want to use the nicknames or not, you can. So just so you know, this is all in one file. Okay, so you have a first name, an opening tag tag for first names, then a list of the names in, all in the same format. Then you would have a closing tag for this and an opening for la last names, and then all the last names in the same format. They share the same format. Um, and so do the nicknames. So they're all in their own group. So with that in mind, we're going to switch to um, Excel, okay? And I'm going to make some tabs here. So we're going to make a first tab for first names, a last tab for last names, and a uh, XML tag for our output, okay? So if we go back to the first now, there are several ways you can do this, okay? Um, if you use the the old school um, from OTP 22 and be, and before that that's this that's formatted like this. So here's your name. This is your distribution number. This is your LID number. Now what does it, what does that mean, right? So here's the name, and they have it in five different uh, alphabets essentially. Okay, and then here in the L tag you have an LID. That's the ethnicity. The dist is the distribution, how many of them are there. Okay, so as I said before, the main issue is how do we take what we have in these two, you know, in this file and this file and get them into a format like this. So like I said, we're gonna use Excel. 
and basically I'm going to put um, the pieces we need okay so we know we need an NID that's the unique identifier for each name Then we'll need the name itself okay and then we're going to need um, an LID one and a dist one okay now we're assuming we're going to have multiples okay now you, you don't have to do it that way but I want to at least have um, two I'm going to do four okay so we'll do three uh, dist three so you always have a pair you always have the LID which is the ethnicity and then the dist which is the uh, the number so the higher the number the more frequent that name will be used okay so LID four dist four and each uh, ethnicity can have a different um, dist number so so let's just say we wanted to do number one and the name is Al and we want Al to be to use ethnicity 0 39 1 and 32 okay so this is let's type the wrong numbers here 39 right so 0 would be so modern or historical US that's 0 and 39 then 1 is Hispanic and 32 is Canadian okay so if we want Al to be you know fairly uncommon let's just say make, make it 5 and then for uh, the other US we'll also make it 5 but for Hispanics we'll make it 1 or 2 maybe and then for Canadians we'll also make it like 4 maybe okay so now we have all the elements we need to, to fill out that uh, format so that it looks like that string we have all the elements we need okay so basically when you look at this um, when you look at this file okay the things that are in quotation marks those are elements that you need to to plug in and obviously you these don't have quotation marks but these are the name this is the name so that obviously has to be in there as well now whether you want to have it you know en is English es is uh, Espanol Spanish you have Korean, Japanese, and Chinese as well. So you don't need to actually put all those in if you didn't want to, but it, there's no harm in doing it. And I'm going to show you a way to make it pretty easy to just include it for everything so that you don't run into any unexpected problems down the road if you end up having a, you know, a Japanese uh, player appear or something. Um, it, it, it'll all work out, okay? So we're going to go back to Excel now what we need to know actually let me switch back here for a second is if we take this this first line let's just take this first line and let's bring it to Excel and put it in the uh, XML tab okay so now let's let's break up the elements so we know we're gonna have this N and ID right and then equal and we'll just leave that and we're gonna tab to the next one okay then we're going to have a closing tag, an opening tag, EN, close. And then we're going to skip to the next one. Okay, because what, what I'm leaving blank is what we're going to plug in. So we're going to plug in the ID number. We're going to plug in the name. We'll do the same thing. We're going to do a close of English and an open of Spanish and a close of Spanish. If I can type correctly here, hang on. And uh, then Korean, and then close Korean, open Japanese, and close Japanese, open Chinese, close Chinese, open, so then we have NL and then L. L and a space LID equals okay all right and then after that we're gonna have a space DIST equals then we're gonna have a sl a slash oops um, this is actually gonna need that and then a slash NL slash N like so okay so now these are the elements we need to build our line all right so I'm gonna copy this 
and I'm going to put it in my first name tag because I'm going to use this to build it, right? So I'm going to plug this in here. Um, now to make the line that we're going to actually output, we're going to use concatenation. So I'm going to go equal because we're entering a formula. And you can follow along up here. Equal C-O-N-C-A-T parentheses. Okay. Now we're just plugging in um, mostly fields. So we're going to say start with that then a comma to separate it to make the next field. And you can see over here, text one, that's this first element. Text two is the element we're going to be adding now. Okay, so we know we need quotation marks, but we can't put quotation marks in an Excel formula. It won't work that way. So what we have to do is use the uh, char 34, which is the ASCII code for quotation marks. Okay, now we'll do another comma and we're on to text three. And text three is this one, okay? So you kind of just need to keep in mind where you need to plug in items from, um, actually that's not what we want, we want the number. So we're gonna do that, because that's our number. So what we've got right now so far is we have this, right, up to the equal sign, then we have an open quotation mark and we're referring back to this cell. Then we're gonna comma again and make the closing tag for that. So now what we have will be this here, quotation marks, one quotation marks. All right, so now we can hit another comma, add this one. Now we're closing this end tag and, op and typing the EN tag. So the next thing we want is the name. Now you don't have to put um, char 34 here because the names are not in quotation marks. So we just put that there. Then we put uh, this one, and then if we wanted to use his name again, we just repeat it, and then this one, and repeat the name again, and this one, and repeat the name again, and this one, and repeat the name again, okay? Then you see this is repetitive, right? And we get here, so now we're all the way up to this um, NL and the dist, okay? So now we need another char, 34. And now this is our first uh, dist here. So we want our first LID, we want this one. And we need another char, 34, okay? Then we need our dist. And again, a char, 34. Anytime you need quotation marks, you have to use the char 34. Let me take our dist one. What? Uh, sorry, that, I must have hit, have hit something incorrect or something because now we've got something that's not right. Oh, shoot. Bring that back in. All right, so what we want here is this number, then we have a choice at this point. Now, if we want to continue on, we would have to add the uh, the additional LIDs, and I didn't actually make a field for that, but I should have in here. So for now, we'll just say that we only have one, just to keep things simple, okay? So we still need to actually do a comma here, and we have to close it. So I'm gonna close it with this. Then we, when we just close like that, we hit enter. Now if we come over here, we have a line Right, well, it's actually just in this this here. If we copy this and go back to uh, to here, now I'm just going to make a blank space here and I'm going to paste it. Now you can see it looks. Oops, I screwed up because I left a char 34 off. But otherwise, this is actually right. So we have here's our NID number one, English Al instead of AC, then a Espanol Al instead of AC, Korean Al, Japanese Al, Chinese Al. Then we got our N, N, L, N, L, which is here and here, and then our L with the LID. So we have our ethnicity is zero, our dist is five. Now this is where I messed up. I should have added a um, another char 34, which makes the quotation mark, and then a space to just kind of, um, you know, close this off. You can actually use it without the space, it's fine. Actually, there is no space up here now that I look. And then we just close out. And so that's, that's really all there is to it. 
Um, there are, you know, obviously permutations you can do. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to um, come back in here and after our D2, which is our dist1, we need to add a char34. Now if I copy this and go back over here and replace this, now it's correct. We have our dist with the number and then that. Okay, so now, well, what if I want multiple LIDs, right? So what you need to do then is add, so I would add something, add another field. So you can just say, um, let's add a column here. Ugh, if I could type, it would be nice. All right, so we have, here's our LID. This is the first one, because this is all connected to this as you can see up here, right? So this is our initial LID, which is tied into the ending, this closing tag for Chinese, and then this one. So it's actually gonna be in in this, this is actually blank, you can't tell, but if I do that, you can see, right? This is still that, and this is that, okay? So this is the whole contents of that cell. So what I wanna do in here is just add, if I just want an, LI, another, an additional LID, so I'm going to do, uh, space LID equal. Okay. And then um, here I'm going to change this to actually add a space because that way it'll be a space before. Um, actually, we don't even need to do that, but I'm going to add the space anyway. All right. So now if I have a second LID I want to add, so let's come back in here. Let's say we want Al to also have. Uh, his, you know, LID2 for uh, for 39 and and so on. All I do is I just keep, we don't, we know V is the last one. V is always gonna be your last one. So we're just gonna come in here, we're gonna say, okay, I want to have another LID, so that that's that. Then again, you need char 34, and then you pick this, and then you say char 34 again, then you need your dist, so you hit this one again, and then a char 34, the dist, oh god, alright, hang on, I keep screwing that up somehow, hit comma first, then hit the dist, okay, and then unless you're adding more, you can be done, and hit this, and now what you get, if we come over, you can see we now have LID 0, dist 5, LID 39, dist 5. So that matches up with what we have right here. And you just repeat the same thing for LID 3, LID 4, whatever. Okay, so you can add whatever you need in here. So this is how exactly how I, here, here's exactly how I do it. I'm going to plug in all my names, give them all a unique ID, and then, so if we had two and it was Bill, and it was 0, 10, 39, set, uh, say set 8, 1, 4, and 32, 9 or something, right? And then we did 3, Ted, uh, 0, 2, 39, 3, or 4, 1, 1, 32, 10. Okay, and then 4 can be... Um, Rufus or something, 0, 1, 39, 1. This is a fairly uncommon one, right? Then all I have to do, um, this is this is how you can do it. I wouldn't necessarily do it this way. You can actually freeze some of it, but rather than have you type all these extra stuff in here, I'm just going to do it like this. So to fill everything down, it's alt E I D. Okay, so again, Alt key E I D. Just hit them all in that sequence, one key at a time. Alt key I E D. That's a fill down. Okay. Um, now, if we copy this, go to here and uh, do this. So now you have all of them. You have Al, Bill, Ted, and Rufus, right? With all the names. Then you have their LIDs. So his LID 0, dist is 5, LID 0, dist is 10, LID 0, 2, LID 1. 
and then you have one for 39 as well and you can obviously go on and add additional ones and they will be uh, tacked on at the end just as I explained before by going in here and just and changing the formula to add additional stuff here so it's up to you how you want to do that um, that's really all there is to doing the name file now if we wanted to talk about schools let me oh, stop let me add um, an additional sheet here for school whoops schools a little bit more complicated but not really it just looks more complicated so here's our school's text right this is the old version from 22 and earlier um, it again it's a comma delimited file so all of these are essentially fields right and then here's the key up here the school ID the school type school name city name whatever so the school ID is again it's a unique number so start at one if you want and just go to whatever number you end with then school type one is college um, zero is high school two is uh, junior college and then your name your city and all that stuff right so we have the name of the city school name city name uh, region which is a state if it's a, un a US state the nation ID the United States is 206 if you're doing other countries you can easily look that up in the world default file um, latitude and longitude uh, again if you're using real cities you can kind of work this out um, if you're creating your own cities then you're talking about editing the world file as well which I wasn't going to go into because that's a little bit more complicated but um, the theory behind all this is exactly the same. You just need to know what each field represents and how to concatenate the text together with the tags in Excel to make a, f a file that you can then just pull in. Um, there are other ways to do this, as I mentioned at the very beginning. There are multiple ways to do this. This is just how I do it because I have Excel and I can lay everything out and massage it however I want to rather than trying to build a schema and doing like a, a CSV to XML conversion there are websites online where you can do that you give it an, a CSV it'll spit out an XML the issue is you need to make sure that your schema which is the kind of the the structure of the data you know uh, the schema would be this you need to have a schools file at the top then a school tag with all of this information and then all of these tags and then a closing school tag so it has to follow that format or the game won't be able to use it okay um, computers work with very explicit rules and you have to match their rules or you get what we would in the programming game call a bug and nobody wants that so um, all of these fields are, are explained up here, okay? So just make sure you know them because th this one uses the same fields, basically. There's actually a, a couple new ones that are added, um, these two specifically, the city ID and the region ID, although they are in here. Um, they're in here by name, though, so that's a little bit different. So here's, what, here's how this would work, okay? So we have this file. Right, so let's just, actually I'll skip the schools. We just need the school. This is one complete record. This is one school from opening school to closing school. Just like in HTML, opening tag, closing tag, everything in the middle is the data in XML format that you're using. So let's copy this. Let's put it in Excel. All right, now um, what I would do is I would actually take each one of these and just kind of stick it on the end of of these so that it's it's all one essentially it's going to be all one file or there's an easier way to do this if I just go back to this here and I say delete key delete key delete key delete keep deleting you want to go to the end of the text and just delete so that you you basically collapse everything into what will be one line when you put it in Excel so I'm just going to delete this out and I'm going to paste it. Now this is all one line. Okay, so this is your complete school record. So again, just like we did in the names, you break it apart. So you take your school ID, school ID equals, that's one, right? And you can even widen it out so that it actually, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Here, let's just do it like this. Do it manually, all right? So now we know after this, we're going to put our school ID number in here then the next one will be uh, space type equals 
right? Comp equals, you get where I'm going, I just did this with the, with the names. It's the same exact thing, right? Just sp start with a space and just keep doing this. Um, always start with a space because we're going to concatenate it all together. And I keep forgetting to hit the space. So same thing, right? NID in this case isn't name ID, it's nation ID. Okay, and actually, and here we would have our closing tag, closing tag, open tag, city. And we spit our city in there, and then we have a closing city, opening of state. And we put our state in there, right? So we can say, let's make this like that, so you can actually see the whole thing, right? And then we'd have our, actually it's state abrev, so it's this here. So it's state space uh, underscore rather ABBR. Again, make sure you check to make sure you're typing this correctly, um, which I did not do obviously, and that would have been an issue. And then we just want to close the state underscore, and I screwed that up. State, oops, close state underscore ABBR. And then the next one is a uh, name. So that's your school name, right? And so again, this is one field, right? So we can see the whole thing just to kind of make it more obvious for everybody. So now we're at name. So we have a closing name and then we have our Nick. Actually, these should be together. They should be together. So you can edit what's in a cell by coming up here. And we want the start of Nick there as well, right? And that's your 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 school's nickname, right? Well, Ab Abilene Christian University Wildcats, pretty straightforward. Then we got slash Nick and open of ASSO, which is association, which is basically your conference. Okay, and then we close the ASSO. And we open our conference. Actually, I'm sorry, association is not conference. That would be like NCAA Division One, NCAA Division Two, NI, NI, what is it, the NAIA, uh, and so on and so forth, right? Um, or your fictional equivalents thereof. So we have that, and we'll just open that up like that. And then we have the close of the conference, open of the, uh, what is this? I can't. Oh, name Korean and then so on and so forth. So you're going to copy basically whatever's in, in here, you know, basically name Korean, copy that. And that would go in there like that, except I overwrote too much. And then the same thing for all the for all the way through to the end. So you're going to have name Korean, and then Nick Korean, um, and then Association Korean, and then Conference Korean. Okay, so basically it's the same stuff here. So um, I would actually just kind of take this like so, and just do this. And then whatever you have name there. Just add Korean at the end, or whatever you're doing here. So just add Korean and Korean and Korean and Korean. And this all became necessary when uh, OTP was sold to come to us, which is a Korean company. So they wanted to have Korean localization for everything. Um, which makes sense, but uh, it makes things a little bit more complicated for us to edit. Okay, so now if we go oh, stop, go back to the end. Okay, we're going to close out all the way to the end so we can actually see this. So after conf Korean, right? So we need close conf Korean. And then close school.
and it's a long string of stuff and it doesn't really all fit here on my screen but that's how you would build it and then you know you could you're just gonna have to you know basically do the concatenation again and then plug in with comp with char 34s for the quotation marks which you'll only need in this area here okay these will need the car the char 34s all this other stuff is just plain text that goes between the tags so all you need to do is use the, the cell references so um you know the easiest thing to do might be to just insert a bunch of columns and you know do id uh, type uh, competition frequency lat long uh, cid sid and nid and then you would just fill these out right so it'd be one and then again uh type so if it's a college it's one if it's a high school it's zero and so on uh, competition level five um that's like great competition i believe frequency how often do you want your players to go to that school it works just like the, the distribution number for the names so you could say like 10 or something then put some latitude and longitude in here i don't know where this is we're just making it up city id you'll need to look at that in the word xml so if you come in here and you need to find it so you'd have to go to like so here's texas right so if we wanted it to be in uh, Dallas, you can just do find Dallas, right? So here's Dallas and it's a city ID number is 21777. So you could say 21777. Then you would need the state <clears throat> for Texas and state ID for Texas is 121. The nation is US, so it's 206. And then you need more columns here for the rest of the information. So you can see that there's a lot to this because you have to populate all these fields. But if you're just tweaking things, you can, you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you can, you can figure this stuff out. So again, this is a fairly complicated thing, which was why I was a little reluctant to do it. You know, the XML part's not complicated. It's just making sure all your data is correct. You know, and then again, using, using concatenation in Excel, you can jam it all together into a string that's, that is correctly formatted XML, paste it into a file, save it, and then it's importable into OOTP. Now, speaking about that part of it, once you have an XML file, okay, like this world file, I have not edited this at all. So here's a, at the very top of this, which is useful for you guys too. This, this is the list of all the ethnicities in the game. So zero through 39 haven't really changed. Um, although they used to call this US modern and US historical. Now it's US African American and US modern. Um, so if you were doing a, an old school league, you could come in here and change the names for uh, U.S. Modern to be just like basically old names, right? Or you could use the African-American names as the old names. It's up to you because once you start editing this, you can do whatever you want. Um, you could also make one of the other ethnicities, you know, that you're not, you don't think you're going to use. If you don't think you're going to have Albanians in your league, you can use eth Ethnicity 21 for something else. Um, obviously, you can change everything in here and have... Your, you know, you could have a, a Middle Earth one where zero is hobbits and one is orcs and two is elves and so on and so forth, right? You can do, you can do that. Um, the problem's going to be when you start getting into your continents and everything. So here's your continents, and these work just like what we've saw, what we've seen before, except it's a little more complicated because there's several layers of information in here. At the top level is the continent itself. So you're going to have Africa, and then you'll have the nations in Africa as the next section. So every nation in Africa is going to be in here, right? So we have Algeria. And then within each nation, you're going to have its ethnicity setting. So this is where you tell the game where to pull its names from. So here's our Algeria is using number 17, which is the Arabic name set. Okay. And then there's a percentage because obviously you can have multiple ethnicities within a single uh, nation. So if we went to the United States, for example, so if we went to the United States, right here it is, ID 206, just like I said, I've done this enough that I know the U.S. is um, ID number, right? Now you see this, use hard code in ML Player Origins 1, that's a flag, 0 would be off, 1 would be on. Uh, 
um, it's a bit, I guess, technically. This is the use USA also set to one. So one means true, okay? So you always have to have a USA in here because that's the home nation, essentially, for baseball, I guess. Um, and then here's your name and all that stuff, right? Um, and then down in here, you have all the various uh, secondary nations, essentially, that uh, have, uh, you know, in OTP, you can have a, a, you know, a first nationality and a second nationality. These would be second nationalities. So these would essentially be immigrants who are American citizens, but also still citizens of their uh, home country, right? And then here's our ethnicity percentages, right? So obviously, and the, the percent works just the same. The biggest percent is going to be the one that's the most common. And then everything else gets a chance. So if you added all these up, I don't know what number you'd get specifically, but the ratio would be determined based on how, however, what it's 2,500 out of however many all of this adds up to be. So looking at it, it's 2920, uh, 3220, and then a couple of twos and a bunch of ones. So it's, you know, 32 something, 3200 something. So you get 25 out of every 32 will be, uh, using the the zero ethnicity and then 39 is you know three three like about 10 percent probably and then everything else is in here so that's how that works out okay and then of course here you have states so here's the state first states new york i think they have them in here by i'm not sure what they have them in here by. i was going to say population but california has more people than new york obviously um and then you have a bunch of cities and each city has its own information you know what time zone it's in does it obey uh does it observe daylight savings its location and its abbreviation and everything so you can really really get drilled down in here and um change stuff and i've actually done um one of these where i edited only the united states but i edited all the populations to be based on the, their population as of older censuses um, and that's really complicated, and I'm not going to go into that. I'm sorry, um, but it it can be done. First of all, you need the data, uh, so you'd have to find the uh, the census data for you know all these places, circa whatever year you're looking to use. So if you're looking for a 1900 league, you would need the 1900 U.S. Census data and uh, all the all the locations. Now I had a subset of locations mainly. Um, you know, not every single town and hamlet in the United States is in that list. So, um, but you have the ability to put as many names in here as you want. So you can build your own continent with your own nations on it. And inside those nations, you can have states. And inside those states, you can have cities. And those cities can have populations and latitude and longitude for their location, um, which will kind of tie into, you know, uh, where your where your teams are. And do they want to play in specific places and so on and so forth? I mean, this game is incredibly deep and incredibly flexible. Um, but you get down in the weeds when you're editing the, some of this stuff. So I just wanted to give everybody kind of an overview because this is already long. And, you know, it could I could do a 10-hour a video on how to edit this stuff because it's that deep. But I just wanted to kind of highlight what, you know, kind of what you need. Like this is a simple one here. Um, here's Trinidad and Tobago, right? So it's a small uh, country, right? The ethnicities, there's only a, there's only a few. They add up to 100%. Here's our state ID, and then inside that state is one city. And the populations are actually the same. And your latitude and your longitude and everything, right? So this is, like, really basic. If you wanted to look at something simple, look at a small country like Trinidad and Tobago, and you can use that as a base for building your... Uh, Middle Earth League, I keep going back to that because um, I'm a Tolkien fan, I guess. But, you know, you can build your own world this way. And then you just, when you create the league in the game, you assign it to that that country you've just added. Again, now, to just to wrap this up, what you want to do is back up the game files first. And then also back up your files. So if you make a custom file, save it somewhere under a, under a unique name. So not world default XML, maybe world or my world default XML or something like that. Because what will happen is when you patch the game, it'll reinstall and it's going to reinstall the, the, the 
uh, the standard files. And if your file is in there and it has the same name as the, the new file from the patch, it's going to get overwritten and all your work is gone. So make sure you save it somewhere else with its own unique name and save the original file somewhere else too, just in case you hose it up and you need to go back and use the real file. Okay. So to make them active in the game is real simple. Just drop them into that, into this folder. Um, let me bring this in. I don't apparently have it open. Let me open it up here. One second. Okay. So if we come in here, right, we're in the OTP. So this is, I, I installed on an external drive, so don't worry about that. But you're looking for out of the park developments, OT Baseball 23, data, database. Okay. The files here, you're, the files you're probably customizing, names, schools. See, here's a CSV file I was actually working on earlier. And then uh, world default. And then there's team nicknames, and you, you can also, you know, change the a, the injury files. These are a lot more straightforward, just, you know, you open it up. Um, again, this is a common delimited file. You open this up in Excel, and you do uh, um, text to columns and set it to comma delimited. It'll, it'll separate all of these into their own fields, and you'll be able to look at them and figure out how, you know, how they do. And, and let me just show you. While we're in here, I'll show you real quick how this works. If we come in here, we make a, a new tab, paste this in, and then just come up to data, text to columns, delimited, next, uh, comma. And we'll turn that off. And uh, just hit finish. Okay. And then we can just make these a little wider so you can actually see. So this just tells you, right, here's the minimum injury time, the maximum injury time, whether it's a day-to-day -day and what percentage of effect it has if it's day-to-day -day and they can play. Um, chances of it being career injury uh, while pitching or throwing. So how does the injury happen? Is it a throwing injury? Is it a running injury? Is it a collision injury? Is it getting hit by a pitch or in a fight? Is it an illness? What body part? Uh, I'm not sure what the body parts are, but you can probably figure it out. This is an this is an elbow injury. This is also and uh, this is a shoulder injury. So this would be an arm, I'm assuming. Uh, for uh, body, I guess, arthritic elbow is arm. Bicep tendon. So bone bruised knee. A leg is two. Broken collarbone is three. Uh, broken nose is four. Bronchitis is four. So four is probably something like, um, you know, a more a bodily type thing that's not a not an appendage it's not your arms or your legs right um, three I guess is maybe a, a bone a bone injury uh, like a like a broken well a broken hand is a one because it's on your arm so I'm not sure what these mean I'm sure it's in the in the manual somewhere I haven't really messed too much with this stuff but then you'll have frequency uh, new body part um, chance of re-injury whether it can become a nagging injury does it require surgery influence on hitting so that's the impact if it's day-to-day -day, right how much does it impact your hitting your running your throwing uh, is there anything else no that's it so you can play around with this and save it and again anything you change make sure you um, also back it up always back it up Okay, so that, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, hopefully this is helpful to you and can help kind of point the way to how you would do this yourself. Again, uh, use concatenation. If you don't have Excel, I think it would work the same way in like Google Sheets or OpenOffice. You know, those, those are kind of built to kind of emulate the same type of functionality that Excel has. They're all spreadsheet programs. So um, they should be able to concatenate the text together. And that makes it a little easier by just copying the formula, basically, and applying it to all the rows so that everything, um, you know, you can just, like, fill out a form, basically, with all your information, your names, the, uh, the, the, the LID numbers, the, you know, the ethnicity number, and the distribution, and have it apply. And then you just get a bunch of lines that are for XML formatted, and you copy them, and you paste them into your names file and just replace some of these other ones. So these, these right here, if I save this file, you know, I might want to take the, the blank spaces out. 
but if I save this file, um, it would work. Like these names would be in here. They're already in here, I'm sure, but they would work because they're formatted correctly. So that's just um, that's just how you do it. It's really not that bad. Uh, it's just kind of trying to get make sure you get it in the proper format. And again, back up your files. I can't stress that enough. So uh, as always, thanks for thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Joe. This has been Legend Sport Channel, and uh, happy gaming. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and like the video and spread the word. Thanks.